All right, everybody, welcome to the Brevard Sports Network. Caleb Brown here, live from the home field of the Space Coast Panthers for 6U flag action between the Eustis Panthers and the 6U, uh, 6U Space Coast. I only have a roster for uh, Space Coast, so... If there's any Eustis parents tuning in, I do not have a roster for you guys. There's a quarterback under center. Number 12, trying to get to the outside, cuts back inside. He's gonna reverse field and his flag will be snatched. Maybe a gain of one yard on the play. Number 12 is Weston Edwards on the carry. Gets a couple of yards. He got back to sorry. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. So uh, we do not have a clock. We are uh, there's four quarters, four ten minute quarters, and we will just go by what the referee signals. We're working on getting a clock for the eight U game. And there's a handoff up the middle and. A flag will be snatched, but not before he picks up a gain of about eight yards on the play. I believe that was number six. Kyran Creighton on the carry. Beautiful job by Creighton. Found the hole and took the space. There to say his flag got pulled after line to gains. That's a first down, first and 10 from the 45. Or from the 40, check that. Oh, oh, that's right, it's the 20 yard line. It's a shortened field, I forgot, for 6U. And there's the handoff. And he's got space. And his flag will get pulled, number five. Canyon Plecky. And Plecky will pick up more than enough for a Panthers first down, it's now. On, it's on the shortened field, so. They're in enemy territory. I'm trying to do quick math in my head. Shortened field is 80 yards, not 100. It's 6U. Weston Edwards barking out his commands under center. And he's going to toss out there to number six. And Creighton trying to get to the outside. Creighton might have got a yard on the play. And Creighton, they'll say he got a yard. So it's second and nine here in the first quarter. Now the yard, yard, um, Indicator moved up. They say he got two yards on the play. So second and eight. The Eustis Panthers and the Space Coast Panthers. And the Space Ghost Panthers are driving. And there's the handoff. And here he goes. He's got room to the outside. And he cannot beat the safety. First down, Space Coast. They're a gain of about 15 yards on the play. That was number 44, James Huslander. And here in the first quarter. First and goal from the three-yard line. Inside, 
Our sponsors, Red Zone, the Freedom Aaron Plumbing Red Zone. Here at homecoming weekend, and there's number 12. Number 12's flag was pulled. Weston Edwards. He'll be stopped short. And it's second and goal from the three yard line. This is unusual for flag. Like, like they're lining up in actual formations and stuff. Quarterback under center. And Edwards is going to keep it into the end zone. Touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. Number six. Check that. Number 12, Weston Edwards. To thank all of our sponsors there at the bottom of your screen. Trav's Ice, Holy Smoke, K-Ball Construction, Freedom, Air, and Plumbing. Edwards under center. He's going to fake. Uh, it's a broken play. Edwards is going to take it himself to the corner. Reverse, reversing field. And that will be no good as his flag was pulled. Tried to reverse field when he tried to reverse field. Well, he reversed it right into a gang of Eustace Panthers. Space Coast Panthers take a six to nothing victory or six to nothing lead here in the first quarter of six U flag football. Hello. Hello. No, we're, uh, just just Facebook. The uh, all the games by by tomorrow afternoon will be uploaded to YouTube and parents can, oh, okay. yes. All right, so here come the Eustace Panthers with their first offensive possession of the first quarter. And that ball is dropped. Second and 10 for, for Eustace. So still with 6 you, uh, once the ball hits the ground, the play is dead. There's no sign over here knocking everything sideways. Just going to place that over there out of the sun. Again, I do not have a roster for Eustace. So if there's any Eustace uh, fans tuning in, I don't have a roster for you guys. I can announce names. And look at that young man, number 11 to the outside. Number 11. Down the sideline, one man to beat. And he w his flag will be pulled at about, I believe that's the 30-yard line. If we go from 100 to 80, that's 20-yard difference. So the, so the normal 50 is the 30. My numbers could be off. And, folks, I, I do apologize for that. Quick. All right, so here we go. Big game. Big gain here by the Eustace Panthers. 6U is an explosive run there by number 11. Coach uh, helping the young man get to his, his spot on the line. Confirming I block him. Do I got him? I got. Uh, I I guess I do. But uh, number eleven said, "Excuse me, I got places to be," and unfortunately has his flag pulled. Check that. That's number two. Number two for Eustace, and he got a couple yards on the play. Second down for Eustace.
future. Did so. you already get Tan you? No, we, 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 we have no rosters. Okay. You have a conversation, right? Yeah, we have yeah, this. Okay. I get, I bring Tan you up. Greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. All right, so here we go. Use is here with second, second and uh, six. As we got a water break timeout. Again, we'd like to thank uh, Trav's Ice, Holy Smoke, K Ball Construction. Freedom Air and Plumbing. Thank you all for stepping up to, for, for, to allow us to bring you homecoming for the Space Coast Panthers. It is homecoming weekend for Space Coast Panthers Little League. and So we hope to see a lot of former great Space Coast Panthers out here. Coming back to their roots. Eustace lines up. Again, we don't have a clock. The clock is not operational. It's been, it was damaged by uh, Hurricane Ian. The, the north end of the Brevard County took uh, took some pretty bad damage. And part of the damage is that scoreboard. We're, we're working on getting some, some semblance of a clock. And there's number 10, number 10, trying to cut up field. And he will lose a couple yards So it's now third and ten for the Eustace Panthers. Eustace coach is getting their players all lined up, you know, as a customer, you're, you're learning the game of football, learning where to line up. and Quarterback under center. Number 18 is going to take it himself, cuts up field. He gained a couple yards. There's a spin move to the outside. He's got space. And his flag was pulled, but not before he picks up a 10-yard gain for, the, for a useless Panthers first down. And so it is inside the K-Ball construction red zone. Probably about the sit five or six yard line. Check that probably closer to the three. And Eustace, punch it in right here, or will that Space Coast defense get the stop they need? And there's the handoff, and fakes the handoff. Quarterback scrambling. And his flag will be pulled for a loss. And he will lose significant yardage. And 6U is competitive here. We do keep score. And he'll be backed up to about the 10-yard line. Again, time is being kept on the field. And here we go, Eustace. And what a job there by the Space Coast Panther defense. Number two on the flagpole, Oliver Tummy. And Tummy with a big loss.
So it's third down for Eustis. Third and goal from the 18-yard line. They got to get in the end zone within these next two plays. Quarterback getting directions from, or the running back getting directions from his coach. Number 18, looking to make a play, and number five, Canyon Plecky pulls the flag, and it will bring up fourth down for Eustis. Fourth and goal from about the 21-yard line. Check that 22. So here goes Ken. A big goal line stop, fourth and goal from the 22 yard line. Uses quarterback number 18 under center. Two backs in the backfield. He's gonna give it to number 11. Number 11 trying to get outside and his flag will be pulled. He might have gotten a yard or two on the play. And that's a turnover on down. Space Coast Panther ball here in the first quarter. So the Space Coast Panthers, that defense does a fantastic job. Look, the, the Eustis offense got into the red zone and then once they got up to about the, somewhere between the five and the three yard line, the offense just sputtered. That bend don't break defense by the Space Coast Panthers. And now here comes that red hot offense. Quarterback number 12, Weston Edwards, under center. Two backs in the backfield. And there's the handoff. And he's running backwards. He's trying to turn the corner. He will get the corner. And his flag will be pulled. That is number six. Kyran Creighton. And Creighton will pick up a gain of about Five or six yards on the play, you know, where the flag is pulled. Pick up five yards on the play. It's second and five here in the first quarter. Space Coast Panthers up six to zero. Edwards brings his team to the line. Space Coast Panthers offense has been able to do whatever they wanted today. And look at that. Look at that big hole. Number five with his flag pulled, but not before picking up a gain of 15, 20 yards. Canyon Plecky, who had the big fourth and goal stop. Now picking up big yardage on the offensive side of the football. And it's first and 10. They can pick up a first down before getting in the end zone, which means they are inside the K ball construction red zone. Into the end zone, touchdown! Touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. Number six, Kyran Creighton. And now Creighton with his first score of the day. Here in the first quarter. So two drives and two touchdowns for Space Coast. Can they get the conversion? this time around. Okay. 
Coach is talking to the defense. We don't, they don't get nothing. Edwards fires, and it's caught. And number five, there he goes again. Canyon Plecky on the conversion. So according to them, it's Space Coast 14, Eustis 0. I thought, I thought it was run for one, kick for two. But until I'm corrected otherwise and told otherwise. 14 nothing, Space Coast on top. And now here comes that pant the Space Coast defense, which gave up majority of the field, but when it came to the red zone, they tightened up quicker than the they tight, tightened up tighter than the top of those uh, glass Coke bottles. So here comes Eustace with their second offensive drive of the game. And uh, everyone started to go, but the ball remained right where the line of scrimmage was. All right, while they took a water break, I took a water break too. 14 nothing, Eustace on top. Or uh, Space Coast on top of Eustace. Eustace with possession. Their second offensive possession. Second down and 10. Quarterback will keep it himself. And his flag will be pulled. Might have gotten about a yard or two on the play. It'll bring up second and nine. And that is the end of quarter number one with your score. On homecoming weekend, Space Coast 14, Eustis 0. I'm going to mute the mic. We'll flip sides. And when we come back, second quarter action, we'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. Trav's Ice, Holy Smokes, K-Ball Construction, and Freedom Air and Plumbing. Again, I'd like to give a big shout out to those sponsors who making it possible that we stream homecoming weekend here from space the Space Coast Panthers field. I'm gonna mute the mic real quick. There's nothing wrong with your systems. I'll be right back. All right, check that. That is halftime. So apparently we had the second court. Uh, we don't have a clock, so so that, that's why I'm taking guesses here. Um, but, but this is halftime. I know that because the refs are coming off the field. So halftime here from – and uh, unfortunately we, uh, we can't stream the homecoming festivities because they're playing music and we don't want the stream to get taken down. So halftime – here as the Space Coast Panthers lead the Eustis Panthers 14 to zero. We'll be right back with second half action.
All right, here we go. Uh, third quarter action right here on the Brevard Sports Network. Let me change the scoreboard. Had a chance to talk to the referees and found out their signals for a changing quarter that I missed. As now they have to find. The biggest thing about youth is finding volunteers. And um, like right now, coming back from halftime, they can't start the game without chain gang. So they're looking for a volunteer. And here comes the volunteer. I'll tell you, it, if you got a kid on the field, chain gang is one of the best positions because everyone stay, has to stay out of your way. The only person you got to watch out for is the ref. You got the best f seat in the house. Are you in the sun? Yes. But most most youth organizations give chain gang free drinks and free free meals. So, all right, here we go. The Youth Dis Panthers hand off to number thirty four. Number thirty four trying to get outside, and number thirty four will be brought down. He might have gotten a gain of one or two yards on the play. I'll give him the gain of, oh, okay, so my eyes deceive me. He gained about four or five on the play. It's now second and five for Eustace here in quarter number three. All right, here we go. Second and, or, uh, Oh, there was a penalty. Okay, there was a penalty on the play. So it's first and five for Eustace. And immediately number two on the flagpole, Oliver T Tummy. And that is a loss for Eustace, third and nine. So you go from first and, or second and five to third and nine. The the down marker guy had the wrong down. Okay, check it. Now it's second, second and nine. So here we go, second and nine for Eustace. Number 18 in at quarterback. I do not have a roster for Eustace. If uh, someone brings me rosters for the older divisions, I will call their names out. And there he goes, number 18. One man to beat and missed the flagpole. And it's touchdown, Eustace. Number 18. Took it 80. Uh, check that. 75 yards to the house. So Eustace gets on the board. And there's that life they've been searching for. So here goes Eustace on the conversion. No good on the conversion, but Eustace gets on the scoreboard here in the third quarter, 14 to six.
here in the, the third quarter. So what, how does Space Coast respond? And here we go. Eustace. Eustace has seven players. Eustace scored with only seven players on the roster. Just a bare minimum they're allowed to start with. Way to go. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm happy for the kid. 75 yards by number 18. That was impressive. We, I wish I had a roster so I'd give the young man his credit. But And the quarterback for Space Coast is going to keep it up the middle. And he'll pick up a gain of four or five yards on the play. N number 12, Weston Edwards on the carry. He just kept it himself, said, everybody block and get out my way. So here comes Space Coast, second and five. And there's number five out around the outside. One man to beat. He is pulled. That's the only thing I, I dislike about broadcasting flag is, it, is it's hard. Hard to tell when the flag. Oh. So actually, his flag wasn't even pulled. It was a holding against Space Coast. That was again number five, Cannon Plecky. Ple Plecky was making that collect call to the house. One of the reasons he probably did was because of the, the big holding penalty. And I'm not, and let me be very clear, I'm not saying kid's not fast. I'm just saying sometimes th those holding penalties are what spring those those huge, huge runs. I saw, we saw Creighton earlier today spring a 20, 25 yard run just out of nowhere, solely on his own, on his own feet. And Creighton, Creighton near side. Look at that shake and bake and his flag is finally pulled but not before he pulls out his little Barry Sanders impression. Check that number 21. Kamarion Knighton. So Kamarion Knighton said, hey, watch this athletic move. Whoop! Thank you very much for your ankles. Thank you very much for your ankles. All right. You, you, you all got me. You got me from behind. But after that big gain, it is... A first down and 10 for the Space Coast Panthers. And this offense, they got big play capability. Number 12, Weston Edwards, the quarterback. The bots are back. What was it? The bots are back. The bo those bots are relentless. Don't, don't, don't click on links. I do. All right. We're on top of that. We do not look to take anyone's credit card information. Oh, we, 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 we do our live streams once you get here. And there's Plecky again. Plecky trying to get outside, and w his flag will be pulled. And he'll get a gain of about one yard on the play. It's now second and nine. Whoa, who? No, no, I was telling you. 
all the kids that were at the door to pipe down. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, they, 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 they misunderstood. Ah, they, yeah, they, they, they were causing a ruckus, and I just needed them to. And Edwards toss, tosses to his back. He's back, trying to get outside. There's a little juke move. Number 21, Knighton. And his flag will be pulled, but not before he picks up a Space Coast Panthers first down. And there is a player down for our Sports Network policy. We do not show injuries. And I, I, I think it was an inadvertent uh, hand to the face because he, he's getting up, kind of holding his head. Look, uh, sometimes when you go to dive for those flags, Jackson knows uh, sometimes th those hands go str you, you get a handful of or a face full of hand rather than pulling somebody's flag. Jackson, an all-star for Satellite Beach when, when he used to play. You'll hear Jackson coming up starting next game. I promise you won't hear my annoying vo Well, you'll hear my annoying voice a little bit, but, you know, I promise his voice is better. He is our super sophomore, and we couldn't be more proud to have him on the BSN staff. We also like to give a big shout out to our homecoming weekend sponsors Freedom Aaron Plumbing, K Ball Construction, Trav's Ice, and Holy Smokes. I'd like to thank all the sponsors for stepping up and making sure we got out here and could bring you homecoming weekend. So I believe we're still in the third quarter. I could be wrong. But and if I'm wrong, then I apologize, folks. Uh, we don't have a w working clock here. Damaged in the powerful hurricane that was Ian. And there's number 21 again. Check that number 75. Tried to get outside. Flag immediately pulled. Michael Rollins on the tackle. Fourteen to six. Space Coast Panthers lead. What do the Space Coast Panthers do as they're approaching the red zone? Ch check that they are in the red zone. At about the 10 yard line. And there's a handoff and a new running back has entered the fray. Trying to get outside. Sorry for the camera movement. Trying to make sure we can get show you all of the play. Third and goal. At about the four or five yard line. Third and goal from the five. And the Panthers from Space Coast, punch it in. Or will we see another goal line stoppage? Edwards under center. Number 14 is in the backfield, Roderick Washington, the third. And he gives it to Washington. Washington cuts up the field. And into the end zone, Roderick Washington, touchdown, Space Coast Panthers. Roderick Washington, the third, from five yards out. Great job there by the Panthers, Finish up, finishing off the drives. And I think about the, the, the Space Coast Panthers, when they get inside the red zone, they put, or when they get inside the red zone, they put it in the end zone.
Edwards checking with his backs, make sure everyone's ready for this conversion. Point after touchdown conversion here. Hand off to number zero, and he's in for the touchdown, Sir Charles Jordan. It is 21 to six. As we are in the fourth quarter now. Go ahead and fix the scoreboard. 21 to six. Space Coast on top. And Roderick Washington on the five yard touchdown. And Sir Charles Jordan on the conversion. Edwards has got a touchdown. And so does. There's one more, and I'm trying to remember who. I believe it was. Uh, I believe it was number five, Cannon Plecky. I believe he had the other touchdown. So Eustace with their possibly one of their final possessions as we are here in the fourth quarter. Quarterback hands off and the young man with a juke move. And tries to cut back inside. Flag pulled after a gain of about. We'll call it seven yards on the play. Second and three. Sec second and two coming up for the Eustace Panthers. Coming up after this game, 8U will uh, we'll stop this live stream and go back live for 8U ball. I'd like to thank our sponsors here for homecoming weekend. Sponsors are at the bottom of your screen. Here on the air, or Freedom Air and Plumbing Red Zone uh, scoreboard. Space Coast Panthers lead 21 to 6 over Eustace. Fall start on Eustace. That'll back him up. Second and seven. From the 14 yard line. And number 18. Cuts it inside. He's heading the outside. He's got room to run. Number 18. And flag was pulled. We have seen him from 75 yards out. And there's a flag on the play. We'll see what the flag is. Holding on. Eustace, so that'll negate that run. Replay second down. Second in about four or five. Second 
Officially, we'll call it second and six. Number 18 is trying to make something happen. And number 18 will get his flag pulled for a loss. So from what it looks like, the Space Coast Panthers 6U flag will get the victory here today. 21-6 to six so far. Can't imagine there's much time left here in this fourth quarter. Number 18 takes the snap. And he'll hand off to his running back. And his running back will get pulled from behind. By number 34, Justice Keppel. But there is a penalty on the play. Nope, that's game, folks. Wait. First down, Eustace. I did not see what the... Uh, flag was but that whatever it is must have been multiple flags because First down from the 10 yard line. There's the pass. Oh. Check that Space Coast ball. So that must have been turnover on downs, and they just. On the 40 yard line. Nope. Space Coast Panthers have the ball on offense. There's the snap. Ball hits the ground, plays dead. That's a loss. It's now third down and 10. Timeout called by Eustace. So a timeout here called by Eustace. And so third and ten for Space Coast.
Six U Mid Florida Youth football and cheer. Six U action. Panthers at this point just killing clock. The Space Coast Panthers up 21 to 6 here on homecoming weekend. 6 U action. Number 21 comes in motion. He's going to take the hand off on the jet sweep. And number 21 has got some open space. He'll get, gain about six yards on the play. Kamarion Knighton. And it looks like that will be game. That is game, folks. This 6U Space Coast Panthers pick up a 21 to 6 victory over Eustis. Coming up next, 8U action right here on the Rafard Sports Network. <laughs> 